What's up guys, it's Matt Thomas Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about how to automate our Microsoft Teams, and we're going to look at the action which is create a channel. So create a channel allows you to create a channel in a Microsoft Team like automatically. So we can pass in some parameters to it if we want, and then it'll create that channel inside the team that you specify. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here. I have a manual trigger flow right here, and I can click on New Step. And I can go to the Microsoft Teams connector here and scroll down until I see Create a Channel. In Create a Channel, it asks me for two required parameters. It asks me for the team and it asks me for the display name. So I can choose from the drop down here, and I'll choose my MCJ demo team, which is the one I've been using for all these videos and I can choose a display name. So we can say what the name of the team is going to be. So I could bring things in from some dynamic content here. I could have the trigger, uh, which I think has got a, uh, yeah, still got a thing there. Um, I could put some, I can bring something in from the trigger or, or for another part of Power Automate and put it in here. In this instance, I'm just going to call this flow test channel. Um, just reads. I can click on show advanced options and it gives me the option for description as well. So I could say this is an automatically created channel through Power Automate. Now one thing you will notice here or you may not notice here is that there isn't an option to make this a private channel. So this isn't currently available through this action. Um, I know you can do it through the Microsoft Graph but it's not included in this action. So whatever channel you create, it will be a public one. Uh, but that's it. So let's test this out. So we'll click on test. Our phone trigger action. We'll save and test. We will run the flow, click done, and we'll wait for a second. And then that should go green, hopefully. It goes green, all good. Check on our, check on our Microsoft Teams. We'll switch over to the Teams and we'll see that there is a new channel right here, newly created, nothing in it called the Flow Test Channel. And I can uh, click on it and uh, Manage Channel, is it? Manage Channel. Uh, and I can see this is an automatically created channel through Power Automate and it just sets this channel up by default. So I now have two channels in my test team that I can create. So. I could create a template. So every time someone requests something, every time someone um, someone like you know starts a new project or something like that, or or when someone fills in a form, I could get Power Automate to automatically create those teams. So I could create a team and then I could create a channels based on a template that we have. So a general channel is created by default, but maybe you want like a project channel, maybe you want a certain channel, you could like template these things up so you could create your team automatically and then not have to worry about it. But yes, yeah, so that's that's this action. So what do you guys think? Is this an action that you use or do you still use the Microsoft Graph to create channels? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. If you found this video useful, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos and I'll see you next time.